Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be explaining the entirety of the Pokemon Yellow in Real Life series. Now, if you have been following along in the series, you would already know what's going on so far, but um, I'm just going to explain from the very beginning on what happened to the very end, even stuff that I have not made in the videos, and um, because... I haven't really found any time to make the Pokemon Real Life videos because of school started and I started making those videos in on in summer. But um yeah, since school started I can't really I couldn't really find any time to do it. So I just decided so I just decided to just explain to you guys how it's all supposed to go out. All right. So starting from the very beginning. A person a boy named Red um, wanted to play Pokemon Yellow, so he got hit, he downloaded it on his 3DS, and then, but when he started playing the game, it sucked him into the game, and now he is the main character in the Pokemon games. He's kind of confused, and, um, just excited as well, and, um, so when he's getting his starter Pokemon, uh, his rival, who is Blue, takes the Pokemon, takes, um... The, his original starter Pokemon, which is Eevee, and so they had to give him give Red a replacement Pokemon, which is yeah, which is um, Pikachu, and so there's also one more trainer that you can see throughout the throughout the uh, series. Uh, his name is May. I'll just name him NPC because he doesn't really have a name, and basically he's just a really funny um, thing to to get more time on the videos and to have it more f make the videos more funny um basically he has a magikarp and he thinks his magikarp's so powerful and whatever and one time his magikarp evolved into a gyarados he put the gyarados into the into a box and then caught another magikarp <laughs> yeah so that's how much that's how much how stupid he was and that's what made it funny um basically while going on, uh, Red catches um, a slow poke, um, and then he Red meets up with a t with Team Ro meets up with Team Rocket. Um, Team Rocket asks Red if he can join, and he he asked what uh, they do, and uh, Team Rocket said they steal Pokemon, and then Red said, "No, heck no, I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna steal Pokemon," and then. Um, they got mad at Red, so they so they proposed a um a, a deal. They said if they won in a Pokemon match, then Red half has to join Team Rocket. But if Red w wins the battle, then uh then he doesn't have to join Team Rocket. So he accepts the battle and he's about to lose when all of a sudden the mythical Pokemon Mew appears and. It finishes off the battle and then mysteriously disappears. All right, now we're probably halfway into the series, so let's get the other half done. All right, on the other half of the series, um, um, he, hold on, let me think again. All right, all right, here we go. So, Blue the rival catches a Mister Mime. No, no, he catches a Raticate, and then he trades Team Rocket for the Raticate for Mr. Mime, but the Mr. Mime is really weak. So now here's the part that I stopped making the episodes, and here's the rest of the series for you. Um, the rival Blue bought a whole bunch of rare candies and gave them to uh, Mr. Mime for him to forcefully level up. Which makes Mr. Mime pretty powerful now. And, um, while he was buying rare candies, he also bought a, uh, water stone to give to Eevee and, e and hit, to give to his Eevee, and his Eevee evolved into a Vaporeon. Alright, and now, um, so Red's doing his journey, and he battles, pro he probably battles, probably NPC, and then, um, his Slowpoke evolves into a Slowbro. And now, um, he meets up with his rival, Bl Blue, and he says, You still have your Pikachu? Jeez, why don't you just make that thing evolve already? I mean, 
we're already halfway into our journey. Why don't you just evolve it already? You can go get um a thunderstone at like the the nearest Pokemon or something, and then um Red gives into the temp gives is like gets like jealous and then goes to buy it. He buys it and he tries giving it to Pikachu, but Pikachu refuses and then runs away. And so then um they chase after it. Um then Red says like, Oh no, Pikachu, alright, it's fine. You don't need to evolve. Uh he throws the stone away and then Pikachu joins on the team again. And now we're on to the Pokemon League. Um so basically now um Red is in the Pokemon League and he's battling um Team Rocket, because apparently they dressed up as one of the, um, one of the guard, one of, not the guards, one of the trainers, and so he battles, they battle Team Rocket for the, probably the last time, and then, of course, Red wins, and then he meets up with NPC, you know, the Magikarp guy, and, um, he says this, I don't know how I've been so stupid all these years, all, all, no, not all these years, <laughs> all this time. I realize now um, that Gyarados is stronger than Magikarp. So I have took Gyarados out of the box, and I'm ready to battle. So then he throws Gyarados out, and um, they have a battle, and um, Pikachu wins. And so now it's on to the final, the final person, which is blue the rival is now the champion is the champion and now it's time for a one versus one battle to see if red will win it's a really close battle but guess who wins red red wins and becomes the champion and after he is rewarded with his certificate red gets sucked back out of the game and and as if no time passed, he is back in the real world. Which, no time has passed at all. He got sucked into the game. So if you were, wa if you were like, one of his friends and you were sitting right next to him watching him play the game, you would see him get sucked in and immediately sucked back out. But, um, not for, not for Red. Red has experienced days of Pokemon training. I don't know, maybe going into the Pokemon world freezes time in the real world or something i don't know i just thought that'd be cool to add in so he's about to go to sleep so red's about to go to sleep but then his ds mysteriously opens and turns on and it says red we need you we need you red and then um, and then he gets sucked back in and now he's back in the pokemon world his pokemon are there and he's there and then professor oak says that um there's a there um, there's trouble in Cerulean Cave. So he goes in Cerulean Cave, and he find and Red finds Mewtwo. So he's starting to battle Mewtwo, and he's not even halfway into the battle, and he's about, and he's already about to lose. But then, mysteriously, his Pokemon, his Pokemon's health gets regenerated, and Mew appears, now tagging along, now tagging along to, um, Red's ba Red's battle. And with the help of Mew, they defeat Mewtwo. And and then um, the Professor Oak runs in after they're done battling and and says to Red, Here, take this. He gives him a Master Ball. Catch it. Um, this, is, this Master Ball can catch any Pokemon without any trouble. Throw it at him and throw it at Mewtwo and it'll catch him. So he throws it at Mewtwo, and he catches Mewtwo. And then he gets sucked back out, He and um, he closes his game, and goes to sleep. And that's how Pokemon Yellow in real life ends. Alright guys, if you liked this series, and, um, like, if you liked my videos of me, like, you know, like, it's a, like, if you liked me doing the skits, uh, then, like, um, 
I hope you um, are not mad that I'm not doing those anymore and just me explaining the story. But um, I hope you're not mad at me. I hope you don't get too mad at me. And um, if I find enough time eventually, maybe I'll um, continue doing those skits. But who knows, you know? So um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe um if you're new and um yeah also my birthday's in eight days so i will definitely may have to make a video on that so um yeah without any further ado ending the video goodbye guys